After seeing Reacher Season 1, viewers want to learn more about Reacher's associate and best friend, Frances Neely. So let's go through the facts about the character from the novels, the actress who portrayed her, and the real-life Frances Neely. All eight episodes of Reacher Season 1 are true to the book and it kept almost all the core characters of the Lee Child novel, The Killing Floor. We are introduced to Reacher as he uncovers a mystery in the small town of Margrave, Georgia that includes crooked cops and corrupt politicians. This was accomplished through assistance from the local police department with the help of Officer Roscoe Conklin I talk to you like that? and Oscar Finley. So Neely, she's a friend? There is a character brought in who is not part of the first novel, a private investigator named Francis Neely. Reacher. Hello, Neely. She helped in tracking down the EPA investigator who is named as JW on Reacher's brother's notes. The only background we got from Reacher is that they served together in the one tent and she is part of her special investigations unit. There was also a mention of how Neely introduced him to the good stuff. Neely introduced me to the good stuff. But Reacher was tight-lipped throughout the series on Neely's background. We can come to the reason that she is brought in as a storytelling device by the writers as her character gives us a sense that Reacher is not your average ex-military that many may perceive him to be. Or maybe a possible spin-off. Fans might be split on this because others might love to see a background story, but there are also those who want to keep the mystery of the character, you know, similar to the novels. When a woman says she doesn't want to be touched, she doesn't want to be touched. What are your thoughts on the speed of series of Neely? Let us know in the comment section. Neely is not introduced in the novels until the sixth book, without fail. But hold on, is it Neely or Neagly? On some audiobooks, it is pronounced as Neagly, which surprised most readers when they saw Reacher as he say it as Neely throughout the episodes. Neely? 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 Neely. Gotta go, Neely. That's why I like you, Neely. You always talk to you like that? Neely is introduced in Without Fail almost the same way with how she was introduced in the Amazon series. Her assistance was sought out by Reacher after being asked to perform a Secret Service audit by his late brother's former girlfriend. They are asked to assassinate the U.S. Vice President. She has only appeared in four novels to date despite being a reader's favorite. With Without Fail as the novel introduction of Neely, and the other three she appeared on are Bad Luck and Trouble, The Affair, and Night School. Also, there was a mention of her in the novel Never Go Back and she also appeared briefly in one of the short stories, Small Wars. Frances Neely was a master sergeant in the U.S. Army when she retired from the military and currently works as a security consultant. She has enough training and skills for combat which made her to be Reacher's first choice for his elite team of investigators, the U.S. Army 110 Special Investigations Unit. Neely is shown to have hafephobia in the novels. She fears and hates getting touched. There is not enough background story shared about her special phobia. Reacher just mentions it in Night School that Neely is born with it. She's not big on contact. When author Lee Child was asked about Neely, Neely's character in the books, he said, and I quote, I sketch in enough to make her enticing but deliberately left most of her to the reader's imagination. She is an enigma and therefore fascinating. End quote. He was also asked if there is a plan to have a standalone story about her. He said, Only if I feel a burning need to tell a story that cannot be told through Reacher. As you know, the series is different from the other series because it only has one repeating character, Reacher, and he has no fixed location, no job, no neighborhood, no supporting cast. End quote. The early introduction of Neely in the Reacher series might seem like an odd choice from the showrunners. Her role and relationship to Reacher makes her the perfect way to tie the series together. Since the novels occur in different places, Reacher is the only consistent character in the novels as we won't be seeing those who were introduced in prior titles. With Neely's introduction as someone that Reacher can rely on wherever he is, she can easily appear in each season. Frances Neely is played by 32-year-old Danish actress Maria Sten. She stands 5 feet and 10 inches which makes her a perfect fit for Neely's role. She is also a writer with credits on the TV series Big Sky, an ABC crime drama that is currently streaming on Hulu. In 2018, she was named to the tracking board's Young and Hungry list, which showcases the top 100 new writers as voted on by Hollywood's most influential. Her IMDb page also shows that she produced and directed short films between 2015 and 2017. As an actress, she has appeared in multiple TV series and movies since 2012 with Reacher as her latest appearance. 
She was a recurring character in the TV drama Persuasion, in the sci-fi horror anthology Channel Zero, and the short-lived CW series Swamp Thing. Here's a bonus fact about Maria Stent. Back in 2008, she represented Denmark in the Miss Universe pageant. She did not make it as a finalist, but we are definitely happy that she is picked to play Frances Neely. Most readers know that Frances Neely is a real person, though she is not a former army investigator and not a female Reacher-like figure. Frances L. Neely is a mystery fan who won an auction to have writers use her name in their novels. Obviously, Lee Child is one of those writers. The bidding came during an auction at a Bowser Con, the largest annual convention of mystery fans and authors. She made a good value for the bid as Neely has appeared not only in four Lee Child novels but also in the Amazon series. Right now, all we can do is read through the books again and wait for another faithful adaptation of the Jack Reacher series. We can expect news on the development of the follow-up season in the upcoming months. While we wait, let's take a look at which titles we might be missing out. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.